huge. And she could have done Legacy. And instead of this girl's trip for six fucking episodes or whatever we're going to get, we would have had Legacy. So pick up the phone, call Bravo, just do it. But doing this Housewives podcast, which first of all, you started one podcast. It's not a failure, but it ain't in the top. Then you start another podcast about the Housewives Rewives. So instead of just be, now we have Rewives, that ain't in the top either. It's not doing bad. So now this YouTube to me is like, this girl is looking for her coins. She's looking, and I'm okay with that. But none of it is knocking it out of the park. I don't think you're starting a YouTube channel because you're bored. It's another money grab, which I love a money grab. I live for a money grab. But these other things aren't really working. They're working okay, but they're not working okay for Bethany Frankel, media mogul, millions of dollars. So I'm not shading her. I'm just saying, if you're going to talk about it, just do legacy and give us legacy and make, maybe they would have given her a, like, I don't know, a million dollars, 750. Make a lot of money with YouTube. So what is the point of this? You don't, I mean, look, look at you. You're on YouTube. You're getting, it's a, my a, least. you're getting a million plus views a month. You, the it's days the of least making category, coin. right? It's like, you know, I make money, but I don't make the same I make from ads or all these other revenue streams. The podcast company that distributes both our shows, here's here's going behind the velvet robe for you. The podcast company that distributes both of our shows doesn't give two fucks about YouTube. They don't care if we distribute. They don't want to know anything about it because you make so little money. You now have to get so many hundreds and hundreds and you really i mean you've got to be bringing in i'm talking like five million a video to make any and I, when i say that i'm saying like and 10 tiktok you're talking about tiktok or youtube oh, tiktok is a joke you make a, that's well, tiktok worse. you make less than youtube i mean that's that's tiktok is only a marketing tool for most people it's not you don't make any money unless of course i mean if you can be like addison ray i mean if you if you can get 32 million views on your tiktok then you're going to make money. But I mean, do you know how many people do that? 1%. That's why it doesn't make sense. Why is she, why is she doing this? It does, it just seems, is she, <sighs> why is she doing this? We call our friend Carlos King. I mean, what is, what is going on? It, it Even that when she, when you sent me the description of her going, this is the real of reality. This is, I thought to myself, wait, did you, you're a marketing genius that you didn't write this, right? I mean, you're not really using, we're getting real. I mean, this is so stupid. You know what I'm saying? Like nobody believes that anymore. You know what I that, mean? Like That tagline is from what year was it? 1990 or whatever the fuck the first minute of that has the real show. world season one, where they said, you know, and it's about to get real. Find out what happens when the cameras stop rolling or start rolling and, you know, reality gets real, whatever that tagline was from the real world. Um, yeah, David, I, I just, I, I don't know, Sarah. I'm so confused. She takes the crystal ball. What is going on? I mean, what is going on, David? I, I don't get, I, I you know, we, we talk about Rinna should be unbothered. It's beginning to look desperate, isn't it? Isn't it? Or am I wrong? Yes. Like, in a way, yeah. it's so weird for her. And again, I'm not knocking her. I just think you either distance yourself from it and don't, she tried to distance herself from it and not talk about it. Now, again, we had one podcast, then another. Now, again, they would, I'm not Bravo, but I would assume if Bethany Frankel texted Andy, picked up the phone and said, I'm interested in legacy before we got to Girls Trip, as soon as Jill Zarin said, I want more money. And they were like, bye bye, bitch. If Bethany called, we would have no Kristen and we would have no girls trip and we would have had a proper legacy. And they still probably would have brought Ramona back. And it would have been a real thing. Could you imagine her with Ramona, her with Kelly Ben Simone? And yes, Bethany Frank would have in the claw, in the contract. I uh, whatever raise you give the other girls, I will always make more money. I bet you they would have even put that in there. So whatever, they're getting 300. 500, whatever. She could have got 900, whatever it is. She's not going to, you're not going to meet your price, Bethany, but that whatever the money was, is got to be more than you're about to go make. And you're going to talk housewives. Just go back on the show. Just it's fine. There's no shade. Well, I'm, I, I'm confused, Sarah. I'm confused. You asked me about the crystal ball okay. on this one. I'm confused. 
It's becoming clearer. Wait, I feel like I'm really? getting a signal from your crystal ball, which oh, is this. No. I oh, think, no. You know, if you look at, I, I think so. It's transferred to me. Oh, if you no. look at her first video on her YouTube, right, of this new show, this new Bethany show, it's, a, it's Bethany Frankel freaks out at a Japanese dollar store. Okay, David, let's put on our marketing hats here. She's not making money from YouTube because you, you have to get so many billions of views now. But is this genius that she is getting paid? Like, because in the in the description, she does say as the accidental influencer that I've become, right? Because she did these market, these makeup things and everybody thought she was going to drop a makeup line. What if instead all of these videos we were about to see are businesses that are paying her $20,000 to come to the Japanese dollar store and do an eight minute or nine minute video where she is picking out products and reviewing products and giving Bethany's honest take. And then she's basically also dubbing it as a Bethany's reality, right? Because she's not going to love everything, but she's overall probably going to like a few things. And by the way, I didn't even know a Japanese dollar store existed. So she is bringing awareness. Do we? I, okay. Now I figured out the genius. <laughs> Okay. And well, the difference is, the difference is, she owns her own video. She's all about ownership, and that's that's where people that are get rich, they are all about the ownership, right? Because these reality stars, aside from Ariana Maddox, really don't get that wealthy um, because they just don't make that much money. The networks make all the money. You don't. You have to use it in other ways. But Bethany's about ownership, which is why she won't go back to Housewives. So now she owns her own YouTube show, which eventually, if it gets big enough, she could license to a, a Hulu. So now here we're like triple dipping, right? She's getting paid from the Japanese dollar store. She's getting some money from YouTube. She's getting a licensing fee. And she, at the end of the day, owns it. So okay, do you want my opinion? All right. I guess the B is uh, kind of smart. Yeah, go ahead. Absolutely, positively brilliant, brilliant, Bethany. Oh my God, I take back everything I just said. Brilliant. I mean, that don't sound like she's talking about Sarah. I think your crystal ball is working. This is, I think I transferred it to you because girl, I got no powers on that one. Um, Just because I predicted Rinna and I predicted all these other things. My crystal ball was broken and I predicted this. The New Jersey pause. Okay, this is just a friend. We're not getting it. Okay, let me just get in. Like, okay, whatever. Okay, so hold on, everyone. So hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on. Um, okay, so sorry. Um uh, Sarah, this is this is why when when I tell you about Bethany and you tell me you're like, I hate her, I love her. I don't know. I'm so conflicted. I've never hated in love. That's what Sarah Fraser says. This is, I take back I everything. I take back everything I just said. And that doesn't even seem like she's talking about housewives that much. Brilliant. And she, let me tell you something. When I was hired for the Randall scandal, even though you joke, it's a release. No, 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 Sarah, we had things to work out. They had to get my approval and licensing. And, you know, I mean, I don't work for free, baby. You know, but all they those, they, they use my video with, with Lala. And so Bethany will own this. And if anyone ever wants to use that, she will own it. The content, they will have to pay her. And yeah, whatever store this is where Bethany Frankel is standing there, she probably did get some money and she'll get another. Mo oh, wow, Sarah. Brilliant, brilliant, Bethany. I take back everything I said. I want to apologize in real time on air. Brilliant. YouTube, do it. Maybe she's just like, look, the podcast ain't doing that great. A people, you know, she's like, wait a second, I got it. I'm Bethany from TV. I do better when people can see me. You know, look at my Instagram stories. Look at how many people are watching versus my TikTok. Listening. That's what I'm saying. Maybe and she's I mean, like, I, yeah, this this I might be it. Girl. Like this might be a brilliant Bethany. Brilliant. I almost feel like we should do a GoFundMe to raise like twenty five thousand dollars to have Bethany review to Bethany to review our uh, podcast episodes together and the products that we promote. So she could drink Nebula vodka. She could use Riff Raff baby toys and then she could rate like how we're doing uh, by segment basically. <sighs> and I almost think we ought to do, we ought to find out her fee to do a YouTube show and see if she will review us and see if our fans, we can raise $25,000. Cause I bet it's, I'm sure it's high, but I it's, bet it's, it's not high. as high as you think. It's high, girl. She's smart with the coins. Well, yeah, but I bet I'm going to reach out to her. 
Go. You, and then I'm going to go, if she goes $36,000, I'll review one 40 minute podcast episode and two of your products that you and David promote. You can each pick one product and I will give my best. First of all, seal if Bethany no seal reviewed an episode of you and me talking, I would literally, that would be like, that's a dream. I would love this. She done, can be as brutal done. as she wants. Out. She can be a troll. She'll be she brutal. can troll me. She'll be brutal. She I, will um, have some really harsh things. For, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. It's not going to be a glowing review. <laughs> I, <laughs> I think you're right. Okay, she's going to- She's, she's, gonna, she's going to say that we're Muppets, but what do I care? I don't give a shit. If she took a turd on me and filmed it, fine with me. I mean, come over here and shit out skinny girl Margarita on my back. She's not going to have anything good to say about this podcast, but who cares? She will have nothing good to say. She'll be like, that guy does not shut the fuck up for one minute. His self-aggrandizing, ego, um, narcissist, um, you know, she's gonna come for you being on Ozempic because she's anti Ozempic. Oh. That's the only credit she's gonna, she's gonna give me a credit for that, and she's gonna ding you for that. She's gonna go. She will be like, he's thin enough. He doesn't need to lose any more weight. Oh. Um, I would love Sarah. Please reach out and make this happen. I'm gonna find out.